Okay, so today we're gonna check out how to make this kinetic typo and I'm gonna try to break down as simple as possible because even I don't understand how to do it. It got me confused, but let's see what we can do. Let's create a new composition. I gotta go with the 4K settings and I gotta put it on five seconds. Comp name text, click OK. Select the type tool, click type in whatever you want. And I gotta go and change the font to sign. I think I gotta go with bold. And as you can see, the anchor point is right here in the corner. I gotta press and hold control, double click on the pen behind. It's gonna jump into the center. And we're gonna go to the align and align it to the center. Press the letter S to scale it down. And from here, we're gonna go to collapse this, open it up, and we're gonna add an animation, select tracking. And from here, I gotta go to the tracking amount, click on the stopwatch, and I gotta drag it to the 12th frame, and I gotta increase the tracking. But as you can see, it's going to increase the distance to the right, which is not good. So I'm gonna go back, and let's go here to the type settings, go down to the paragraph, and you're gonna need to center the text. And we're gonna need to position the anchor point into the center again, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind and align it again to the center and let's increase i gotta go somewhere around 45 46 next i'm gonna bring it to two seconds and 12 frames and i'm gonna increase it all the way up i gotta go somewhere around 85. all right from here let's go to the third second and decrease it to 20 and from here, let's go to the fourth second and 12th frame. And we're going to decrease it to zero. And I also going to right click on this keyframe, go to keyframe assist, select easy ease. And I also going to do with this keyframe, easy ease and the very first keyframe, easy ease. And this way is going to make a really smooth animation. Okay, so this text is going to be the center text and we're gonna to need to create some copies. I gotta create four top copies. So I gotta select the layer, press Control D four times and these are gonna go up, select the top layer and I'm gonna drag it up and press and hold shift, select all the layers and go to the align and click on distribute vertically. Now it has some more distance in between. You can bring it down, do it again. And now I'm gonna go and select the top layers, the new copies, press the letter P for position. And I also gonna select the bottom layer and press the letter U. So it's gonna highlight the keyframes. So now we're gonna need to animate somewhere where these texts are gonna bounce out. So I'm gonna go with the first second, it's gonna start somewhere here. And I'm gonna go and activate the stopwatch at the position. I'm gonna push it out here, select all the layers. And let's go to the align and click on align bottom. So basically this way it is going to animate. And of course it's going vice versa. All we need to do is bring these keyframes to the left and bring the left ones to the right. And I also gonna put these at the first second and select all of it, press F9 to easy ease. Let's see what we got. There you go. And now we're going to need to repeat this also at the end where it's going to uh, retract itself. So that is basically going to happen somewhere here at the very end. So we're going to need to copy paste these keyframes. I'm going to go and select these one by one and press Control C, Control V and the second. And here we're going to need to switch these up. I'm going to select the right ones and drag it to the left side. And I'm going to go somewhere here. Where's the ending? Somewhere at the 12 second. And I'm going to bring these keyframes right at the ending. Great. And now we're going to need to shift some of the layers. So I'm going to select all of it, press the letter U. So it's going to highlight the tracking amount as well. And we're going to need to shift the tracking amount. And the tracking amount will be shifted right here like these keyframes. So this is the center keyframe. We won't touch that. So I'm going to go with two frames, for example, here and drag these two keyframes, two frames again, push these out, two more and so on and so forth. You can play around however you like. So this is going to be the top part only. Now we're going to do the bottom part as well. Now I'm going to select the bottom Panther text. I'm going to press Control D four times. Control D, D, D and D. And I'm going to press and hold Shift and drag these layers under the center layer. And what I'm going to do is go out when the text is expanded like that. I'm going to bring this up, click here somewhere 
and I'm gonna select the rectangle and zoom in and I'm gonna create a rectangle where this text starts and where it ends. So I'm gonna measure exactly how low I'm gonna push the text and I'm gonna position it somewhere here and I'm gonna select the bottom text, press and hold control, also select the rectangular shape layer go to the align and click on align bottom now you can delete the rectangle and now select all these layers with the center text included now we're going to go to the align and align it vertically like that press the letter u now we're going to shift these keyframes just in advance and now we are left with the positioning animation only so I gotta go to the first second, select the bottom four layers, press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch. Let's go a little bit further, press and hold control, also select the center layer, click on it. Let's go to align and this time let's go to align top, select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease and bring the right keyframes to the left and the left keyframes to the right. Align them, select the top ones here, press Ctrl C, let's go at the end, Ctrl V, copy paste them all, and let's invert these. So I'm gonna select these four keyframes, bring it to the left, and bring the left ones to the right, to the 12th frame, and the right ones here to the left. I also gonna press the letter U to highlight the rest of the keyframes, it looks something like this. Click play, looks good so clean and not but least we're gonna add one last trick we're gonna add some motion blur i'm gonna select one of the layers press ctrl a and click on this motion blur simulation shutter duration click on the checkbox and it's gonna add motion blur to every each if you don't have these settings you can click on the toggle switch here and it's going to highlight so let's click on play it is going to smoothen the whole animation with a little bit of blur so this was it thanks for watching